Okay, I'm gonna be shooting next a, uh, this is an AR pistol. It's an Anderson manufacturing lower. I'm not too sure what the upper is, but it's a 10 inch uh, 556 barrel. And it's got the um, the chuck wave technologies blade brace, and uh, I'm gonna be shooting uh, some steel ammo. See how it chambers on this on this barrel. I've heard that it it jams, but we'll see how it goes. This is a uh, Monarch steel ammo. 223 and uh, these will be the first shots see how it goes this is a pm a pmag 20 round or 30 round pmag okay Goes my red dot. Uh, I guess this turned out to be a reliability test. Get a few more rounds in there. Pretty good. These are gonna be my first uh, nine shots out of this uh, Mossberg M590A1. I got it out of the punch shop. 
Let's see how it goes. Pretty damn good. All right, so this uh, shotgun, the Mossberg M590A1, it comes with a stock that you can put um, two more rounds as a compartment in there. Now I heard that if you sh when you're shooting it, that they come out. There's two there and two on the other side. So what I'm gonna be doing, I got eight in the tube, one in the chamber. I'm gonna be shooting all of them and then reloading these four if they stay in there. Uh, we'll see how it goes. A little slow there but I mean they stayed in there so I guess it worked out pretty good so far I'm pretty satisfied with this shotgun like I said I purchased it at a, at a punch shop um, I don't know where the point of aim is at yet because I'm just shooting into the berm um, I'm just shooting regular uh, buckshot this is a Winchester, uh, two and three quarter inch Super X. All right, folks, thanks. All right, this is my Beretta 92FS uh, compact nine millimeter. Be shooting it for the first time. This was also a pawn shop buy. It looks pretty new. I checked all the, in the internals. I uh, oiled them and we'll see how it goes. I'll start with um, uh, double action first and then single action. Pretty good. All right, so next I'm gonna shoot my bread again. I have uh, two magazines. Um, I don't have enough to have them in full capacity. I have my 13 round, my 15 round as a backup. Um, I think I have like, I 
think I have like seven, one chamber in the 13 round. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw and uh, finish that 13 round magazine. And then I'm going to uh, reload the 15. We'll see how it goes. Now I'm gonna do something I don't recommend uh, everybody do every time, but uh, I believe that once in a while you need to shoot without ear protection because in a stressful situation, you're not gonna have time to put on some ear protection. And it's gonna be even worse when you have to draw your, arm, your firearm and shoot it inside a building, um, the echo, and the sound of the the blast is gonna it's gonna sound harder but out here in the field um the sound just disperses and uh you don't hear it as much but uh still i think once in a while you should practice without ear protection not all the time you should always protect your hearing so this is a disclaimer do not try this at home it's just for testing purposes only So what happened there was my 13 round. I think I had more than seven rounds in there, but um, so I spent that uh, magazine and I have this uh, inside waistband holster. I guess it didn't work too good because as I went to grab the mag, it came out with the whole holster. So I had to pull that holster out and use my magazine but I think I reacted pretty pretty quick on it so yeah um, this is a regular 15 round magazine from uh, 92 FS it's uh, it's an original it's uh, it's for the 92 FS and for the 92 s that's what I like and uh, it's my Beretta 92 FS compact to get some better grips on it i'm gonna get some g10 grips because they're thinner if for for a compact it feels pretty pretty thick on my hand so i bet those uh g10 grips the thin ones would feel a lot better i'm having a hard time trying to reach that um magazine guess that'll be for next paycheck or something but uh all right folks uh thanks for watching i guess this turned out to be a review video i just came to try out these guns and i didn't expect to do a video but i guess since i'm already showing my shooting and all that it might as well be a review not a full review but my uh take on these guns that i got all right guys thanks for watching so i forgot to mention um i also uh, bought a crossbow it's a uh, barrett uh crossbow it's a small uh, recurved i think it's called a recruit it's a simple little crossbow for for small game um i'm gonna be i still need to buy the bolts or the i guess that's what you call the arrows they're bolts because they're smaller I still need to buy those and uh, I'm gonna be shooting that uh, next time and I will be making a video if you guys are interested in uh, watching that it'll come soon all right guys thanks for watching